Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek, and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to be creating is what you see on your screen. So, if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned, and I should be right back after the intro. So before we get started in today's design, what I want to talk about is Canva Pro. So just in case you're looking at having more done in Canva Pro, and when it comes to removing the background um, you know, of your images, when it comes to publishing your content directly from Canva to any social media platform, when it comes to adding more brand kits of your client to your Canva accounts, look, all of these things are possible. And even if you want to resize um you know a single design to so many dimensions canva pro can help you do that with a click so i want you to be able to enjoy all of these benefits um canva pro comes with so just in case you are interested in this there's a link i have in the description box below that can help you to try canva pro for free just for 30 days you understand just for 30 days i think it's enough for you to be able to go around it and see some of the possibilities it comes with so yes check the link in the description box below and um you know try canva pro so the next thing i want to talk about is the assorted canva template bundle which i created for you and the interesting thing is i slashed the price down you know 75 percent off just because i want to provide value to you so check it out and uh, you know get your copy of it so there's a link in the description box below that can help you to also get your copy so yes check it out and without any much ado let's dive into canva and let's get started with today's design okay so you can see this is what we are going to be creating today and it's looking very very interesting like very interesting but trust me you this is a very simple design we are all going to be making today and you'd actually be very surprised you know so this is what you have to do but this is what you have to do create a new page and set the dimension to 1080 by 1350 okay and um the next thing you would have to do is you'd have to search for interesting images you can use four images you know at least four images so i came to my recently um, used images and uh, just to be able to find these images i use and similar ones okay so i would first of all go with this lady okay then i would um search for the other ones i used so i think i think i have to scroll up a little bit so but as i'm doing this i believe you are also um selecting images you can use so i went for this guy also and this pretty lady as well so you can see these are the images i am going to use so what you have to do is you have to remove the background of all of these images okay so i click on this one come to edit image then i come to remove background or background remover then i would also select this particular image come to background remover and i hope it works yeah select this one i'll do the same to it or oh, this time around i think <laughs> canva is overloaded <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> okay so i come back to it and click on background remover so that it removes the background of my image so the first one is done so i'll come to this one also and i will select background remover so that you know the image the back so that the background of my image will be removed so the second one is also done this one is saved okay so we just have to wait for these two to finish so now that all of them are done what we are going to do is we would arrange them in an interesting way so what i simply did was i would crop you know this lady because i need up to their chest level and um oh what's happening so continue okay then i would reduce you know this lady up to here i think my internet is disconnected or something of that sort so are you saying um your current designs or your current changes haven't been saved okay it's saved now okay then i would also crop this one okay and crop all of this then i would increase the size and bring her to the front okay so that i position her here so just in case you can hear my phone ding crank crank is you know friends messaging me and all that so i know you also have friends and it happens you understand so i would also crop this one also over here no i'll crop it i just got confused okay and i'll bring it to the front all right and maybe bring this one here move this one to the top a little bit so you can see how 
I've been able to do all of this. Okay, so maybe I'll drop this one down so that all of them are looking very cool like that. Okay, so I would drop this one also. Let me copy it so that it doesn't look too big. Okay, so now that we've been able to arrange all of the images like this, what I'm going to do is I would come to my uploads and um, in my uploads, I have some clouds in there. So that's what I'm going to use for the next step. And just in case you'd be wondering where I got my cloud and all of that, you can just visit elements.theafricangigs.com um, and search for clouds. Okay, so you'll be able to see so many clouds and all of that. Download them, upload them into your Canva, then proceed to the next steps. Okay, so that's what we are going to be doing. So yes, yeah, so these are some of the clouds I have. So I'll select this one, for example, and position it here. And what we are going to do is we are going to change the color of the clouds. Okay, so we are going to use um, the edit image feature so click on it and you come to dual tone okay so apply the dual tone effect to it and um you know so you just click on dual tone and it should open all of these options for you so just double click on any of the options at all you understand so you know once you click again you see these options highlight and shadows so this is where the trick happens with the highlight i'm going to choose i'm going to actually use this color picker okay position it here okay so that i get the color of this yellow then i copy it come to shadow and i will do the same i will paste the color code over here okay so when i do that i'll position it here and i'll duplicate oh my goodness it has to save the design isn't saved yet that's why you know it didn't apply so you can see we are we are having saving post oh my goodness So after you add your clouds, what you have to do is come to edit image and in edit image, you search for dual tone. Okay. So choose any of the options you have over here, then double click on them, come to highlights and I'll use the color picker over here to choose, you know, this yellow. Then I will copy the um, color code, come to shadow and I will paste the color code here. Then I click on apply. Okay. So after you do this, you have to make sure Canva is saved. Do you get it? Make sure Canva is saved before you proceed to the next steps, else it will reset the effect you applied to your element. And um, that's one thing I would want you to take note of. Okay, so now you can just duplicate it several times, okay? And send some of them behind him. Okay, so I'll also bring some here and I'll send it behind him. Okay, then I will duplicate this one or i can just delete this and select a new fresh cloud okay so i'll position it here then i'll use hair color you know so hair color is purple so i would come to edit image again and i would use the dual tone effect again i'll click on violet okay already this one is matching so i will just select it and move it behind okay so you can see the design is paused okay or it's in saving pause and this is and this is one of the things um, about it. If you want to make this tutorial, you really have to be patient. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So I would leave this one up a little bit and I'll send it behind. Okay. So I want all of it to be behind. Then I would um, rotate it. Okay. Move it to the top. Okay. Move it to the top a little bit. And I'll move it behind the yellow. Duplicate it again. And I'll actually send this one behind the lady. Okay. Duplicate this. I'll make this smaller. Okay. And position it here. So you can see how I'm going about it. Then with this particular shadow, I can rotate it. Okay. A little bit. And then because at the end of the day, it should look like a circle. Okay. And rotate this one also a little bit. Okay. Then we add another one. I don't know why this thing keeps happening. Okay, so I position this one here. Come to edit image again. Go to dual tone again. Click on any one again. And click on highlight again. Okay, so <laughs> then use the color picker. And I'll use this nice blue over here. Then I'll copy the color code. Come to shadows. And I would, you know, paste it over here. Then I click on apply. Okay, so when I do that, I would rotate it this way and move it somewhere here okay then i click on apply again i don't know why it's still here so make sure your design is saved then send it behind okay so you can see how it's looking and maybe i can even rotate this one more 
okay and send it behind the lady okay so you can see this is already looking very very pretty so maybe we can also rotate this more okay and move it to the top i think i think i'm, I'm loving all of this so far okay so then with the guy at the top i use orange okay so then i would come back into my uploads again click and this time around i'm going to use an orange since that's what i use initially so i can choose any of these options or oh, it is a cherry i don't like it so i come to highlight and i click on plus and choose you know an interesting color which is the orange okay so i forgot to copy the color code so i copy the color code come to shadows and paste the color code over here then click on apply and don't forget you always have to make sure your design is saved before you proceed to the next steps okay so uh then click on apply and uh, my design is saved okay so i position it somewhere here and i send it back 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 you know send it backward okay then i duplicate it you know just to make it look like yeah there's a lot so i send it back like this and even behind him duplicate it again maybe somewhere here okay so send it way behind him okay so this is what we have at the moment so looks like the clouds over here are really like a lot and i see a lot a lot a lot of clouds so i'll push them in okay and this is what we have at the moment so i'll select all of this and position it here okay and um, just in case maybe some of the clouds are going out too far you can select an extra cloud okay and uh, maybe with this one like this i can position this here i can come to edit image come to draw tool and i'm going to set it as all white okay so highlight should be white and the shadows should also be white okay then i'll apply okay then duplicate okay and position this one here okay but the interesting thing about this is it wouldn't be visible it would rather make it look more interesting okay so and then um, position this one and rotate it to something like this okay so this is what um i did so you can see how the design is actually looking it looks too much to decide over here so maybe i can just select all and move it in okay and maybe this this cloud is just too much over here so i can just move it here and you see it's actually looking very interesting like it's really looking interesting so this is the main thing about this design okay and uh, maybe let me position it here let me add a last one over here okay and um position this here send it to the back all right now it should come forward a little bit yeah and now we can duplicate it and then um, yeah you know this is what the whole design is about so i'll send this one to the back okay and i'll drop it down a little bit so this is what you know i was able to do and uh, you see there's a transparent um, image over here so i just went into photos and i searched for crowd okay so C R O U D A. Sorry, sorry, sorry. C R O W D. <laughs> okay, and you can see this is what I found over here. You know, the whole place is beginning to get noisy. So just pardon me if you realize I'm beginning to rush. Okay, so increase the size. Let it fill the bottom right click and send it to the back. Then you reduce the transparency of it to something like this. Okay then you just add your text okay so in this case i'll just copy all of these things because i know it's something you can do now i paste it here and i would also choose all of this text you know just their names and position it here so this is what we did and um yes i hope you've been able to follow this tutorial because this is a very 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 simple tutorial and you should be able to create this in canva so yeah these are the steps i've used to create the design i just taught you and i hope you found it helpful so just in case you're looking for more and more interesting canva tutorials there are three things you have to do the first one is to subscribe the second one is to hit on the notification bell okay so that you always be notified when 
I upload new videos. And the third one is to check my channel for more Canva tutorials. And also don't forget, you can try Canva Pro and you can also try the assorted Canva template bundle I have created for you. So their links are all in the description box below. The name is Benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity. I would see you in my next video.